seated in the presence of the Lord. It's my prayer that all of us will continue making this decree in the hearing of men, in the hearing of devils, that all oh, they are the gods, they are the works of men. But we serve the Most High God. We serve the Most High God, the creator of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. We started a course last Sunday, Understanding Divine Seasons. And I want to continue with the same divine seasons. Understanding divine seasons. Our lives go through different times and different occasions. Sometimes we face difficulty. Sometimes we face enemies. Sometimes we live a life that is full of opposition. Sometimes it is not working the way we want it to do it or to work. And with this reason, God wants us to understand what you call divine seasons. And every man or woman born here on earth need to know that there are seasons in different times in different people, in different occasions, we go through difficult or we go through various seasons. And God needs to help us to be mature enough that we can be able to stand up and we can be able to face every season that comes our way. After understanding some truth, on what you call the seasons. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse number 1, where I want us to get our text, I want us to look at the scripture that is reading us in this. And the Bible says, there is a time for everything. There is a season for every activity under heaven. There is a time for everything. And there is a season for every activity under heaven. This wise man of God brings out this message. You know, he was a blessed man among the wise men who ever lived under the sun. Solomon, the son of David, is one of the wisest men who ever lived. He had prayed to God that God give me the wisdom that I can be able to lead God's people God's way. And this impressed Jehovah until Jehovah said, I'll give you what you have asked for. I'll give you the wisdom. And among men who ever lived under the sun, there will be no man who ever lived who will be as wise as you will be. Because you have asked of wisdom. And the wisdom you are asking me for is that you will, God will, as that I give you the wisdom that you can be able to lead God's people God's way, because God's people cannot be led in many other ways. They can only be led God's way. And this is the way that will make God's way. This is the reason why this man had wisdom. And after reading books, studying philosophy, and having every other kind of wisdom, he came out with this resolution and saying, there is a time for everything. There is a season for every activity under heaven. The same words were echoed by Jehovah when he spoke to Noah after the floods. 
And he told Noah, as long as the earth endures, as long as the earth endures, seed time and the harvest time will never cease. Day at night will never cease. When you wake up in the morning and you see it is morning, wait for the evening. When you see it is evening, wait for the night. When you see it is dark, wait for the light. Why? Because seasons Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And for God to make it very simple, according to Jesus, he used parables to help people from the known to the unknown. He helped people to understand the natural things so that it would help them to understand the spiritual things. Brethren, why am I bringing this to you? Because sometimes you go through a season, you don't understand why. You ask yourself, why am I going through this? Sometimes you go through a season and then you try to seek God in the season. You try to look at the reason why you are going through what you are going through, you don't understand. And sometimes you ask, does God really exist? This is the reason why we are supposed to understand divine seasons. Divine seasons. And this will help us that whenever we are going through a certain season, in the spiritual realms, we will understand Jehovah is still with us. Jehovah is still with us. You know life is a journey. Life is a journey. And because life is a journey, and it's a long journey at least, you need to be prepared to go through different kinds of seasons different kinds of seasons and having told you that I can mention many people as examples I give you the example of Moses Moses went through about four seasons about four seasons he was born in a very hostile time when baby boys were not supposed to live. His mother never understood why this boy was born at a time like that. And his mother had to hide this boy in the reeds of River Nile. And because I want to teach you some words so that you people can understand, I don't think in the river the river is the best place where you can hide a baby, a tiny baby. And in that river, there are crocodiles, there are hippos that live there, and there is mosquitoes. But because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word, and that's the reason why I challenge God's people. Don't hear every word that comes your way. You are supposed to be careful because faith comes by hearing and there are many people who will go to hell because they listened and they heard the wrong word the distorted theology there are so many people they are saved yes they never seen have attended zambi lakini wataenda kusimu kwa sababu wamesikiza injiri ambaye ni potopu ni vizuri kujiuliza unanisikiza nini na ni nani abaye unasikiza does he have the right word maana imani inakuja kwa sababu ya kusikia the reason why we have a problem is that people are hearing to differ they, they listen to different gospels and they are very poor in the word of god they cannot be able to 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 they cannot be able to stand because they are very poor in the word so when they hear 
they distorted the word, they will not be able to distinguish what is right and what is wrong. That's why people say, the God of the Kikuyu say, there is a God, but there is no devil. They say there is a God, but there is no devil. The Kikuyu gods, they only have the God of Kikuyu of Mount Kenya, and they don't have a what? A devil. We need to wake up, because faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. And so, you will agree with me, this lady, the mother of Moses, a Levite, is hiding his baby boy in the river Nile because already she was believing in the gods of Egypt. She had lived in Egypt, and in Egypt, the principal god was the god of the Nile. And the reason why she took this boy to the Nile is because she believed that the god of Egypt will take care of that boy. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Praise the name of the Lord. Now, seasons, how many fall? In the river, as a baby. Season number two, in the parish. Now becomes a son of the daughter of Pharaoh. In the parish. Eating food of a king. Being driven to school with black Mercedes Benz living there comfortably although he is still a hebrew but now he is in the palace he enjoys everything and he does not know that is but a season he doesn't know that seasons are not permanent he does not understand that seasons seasons are not permanent they are temporary and all of a sudden, the story changes. And he runs away from the palace. And he finds himself in the desert. Living with his father-in-law, Jezebel. Given as a reward, given Zipporah as a wife. Looking after the ship that belongs to Jezebel. There he is, stressed. Remember, from the palace to the desert, it is a season. Looking after sheep, belonging to the father-in-law. Remember, even in the, in the home, when he comes home, he has no voice. Remember, the boss is shut deeper. If Zipporah says there is no quality today, aha, he cannot say anything. He is living in the mother-in-law's place. Brethren, hear me and hear me. I don't know which season you are in. You need to know there is a God in heaven. And you need to have some truths about every season. Because life is a journey. And we are in a journey. And this is a long journey. For the season, he meets with God in the burning bush. God speaks to him, and God tells him, a time has come, now we are in another season. I want to send you, you are the one who is going to save the whole of Israel, and take, back, take them back to the promised land. They are living in slavery. I want you to lead them to the promised land, a land with honey and milk. I'll make you a God, and your brother will be a prophet. I'll make you a God. I'll give you the power of a God. The man who was living in the desert now has the power of a God. You need to understand divine seasons. Divine seasons. So, if your life is okay, and everything is working well, so that you get proud. You need to know we have different seasons in different times. And that's the reason why 
I want you to understand this. Number one, there is no season. Okay, Jehovah is the author of every season. I repeat again, number one, Jehovah is the author of every season. Hakuna magia abaya inajirete yenyewe ni mungu analete. Alia inani ye. Buwana zwe sana. Onarele ole wakorole kere ilio kwa goma. Oge kola ta kwa goma kwa higura mai. Kwa higura kanu wako kwereke ile. Omenyake kemerakeu. Gaya kola kwa hon. Newe otoma imerakio da ikonu wakuo. And if you are sitting with somebody who is going through her. Usi mchekele. Am I talking to somebody? Ikiwa unakana mutu wabaya hana chakula ya jioni. Usi mchakere. Ako katika majira furani. And the God is the other of every season. Number two. There is no season that is permanent. There is no season that is. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is no season that is. Every season is temporary. Every season is. Akoko modorare la dago torare la ga. Kerera negego kinya moicho. Aria inanie. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Did you know? Even the wealthiest people we have today. Sometimes ago they were poor. You didn't hear what I say. Praise the Lord. Akina. Tycoons of Kenya, Akina Jenga Karume. If you are if you are if you are able to follow some uh, people's biographies, you will agree with me. Kore hede Jenga wa Karume are mochi ni wa makara. Mutiko jaleria. Are ke? But he died a billionaire because it was a season. Na hiyo season ni mebadilika. Mungu ameweka yeye mahali pengine. Abia mwenzako Mungu anaweza kukupeleka mahali pengine. Because we go through divine seasons. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Every season is temporary. It is? Yes, it is temporary. In fact, the only permanent thing on earth is the word of God. The only permanent thing under the sun is the word. The Bible says the word of God is established in heaven. And the word of God is God himself. How I pray that you will be rich in God's word. Ukiwa tajiri na neno wa mungu. Utaeza kusimama against every son that comes your way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number three. God is present. I mean, God is present in every season. Ukipita katika majira ya inayote, I have good news for you. Fungua macho, utaona mungu. Na kuambia fungua nini? Utaona nani? Ata kawara ambaye wa melana kwa kitanda, kwa kitari. Wakitazama vitu watamuona mungu. Uh, am I talking to somebody? When they were stoning Stephen with the approval of Paul, Amesimama aona Stephen akiwawa, japa abari na difurahicha, ni kwamba walipo gonga yeye kwa mawe, Bible inasema, and when he opened his eyes, he saw Jesus, na alikuwa ananyosha mikono, anamuabia na kukaribisha binguni. In every season. God is I want to teach you to always see God in every season. Praise the name of the Lord. Hata kama maadui wame kufinya usikata tama katikati ya kufinyo watazama utaona mungu. Arinyosha mikono kwa Stefano. No menye Stefano wale mbodo mbogikuwa gai. He was stoned by people. Na, na Paulo dia liko amesimama dia one amekufa kabisa na anatigi ya ginyaka kamwe oka aguko ni akua ni ahora but before he died the bible says he saw Jesus stretching his hands na anamwabia karibu 
wanafikiri wa mana kumaliza lakini ninakupokea Alogo jombo adhani Praise the name of the Lord That's why the apostles because they knew the secret and they knew that the God is the author of every season they were they allowed they gave them over even to death because they knew that God is present in every season blessed be the name of the Lord number four seasons are inevitable point your neighbor tell them seasons are inevitable don't try to run away from a season I'm saying don't try to run away from a because seasons are don't try to run away from a ugutura ururaga na doga kinya kuri urathie eh ujerio jo muri gai nyombo era ni uko ni uko ruga mawega ni uko ngaranira na na kimera kiwo ri thini wa kio aroga jojo zo muwa gai blessed be the name of the lord something that makes me happy when i study my bible the bible says in the book of revelation this is repeat, repeated i don't know how many times those who shall overcome <laughs> those that you know you study the book of revelation in fact is it chapter 2 yes chapter 2 and verse 3 and chapter 3 those who will eh na wale makahota na gaira iwo ko mugaithie ari amage khadia urahota na ndu ini no maga uko kuri kindu rangi ginya na kuhota na niyo ndire ta kimera aroko jojo somuru wa gai now the life of moses agasimama aulise mungu wakati huo alikuwa jangwani ageuliza mungu leo uko ni ati ndire ka gai leo ni keke ade heire guko gai kai gai we otatura ga muoyo Amen. Niko imwara imo ochoro ne vibora na dali kodo athi athi re tondo aikarite kwa vibora indo iria ri aga nisi athi vibora nyita ari ai nani dai kala gata muthuri ku eh ne go bonjoru muno i'm talking about a season that moses was going through he could question god but little did he know that whatever season he was going through it was a divine season and god could be found in every season praise the name of the lord <laughs> number what number five god has a good reason for every season come on please to your neighbor tell them god has a good reason for every I want to bring a point that will help you to understand that God has a good reason for every season. This is a very common verse you have been reading it. For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now, why am I bringing this verse? Jehovah spoke through the mouth of Jeremiah to the children of Israel and at this particular time they are in captivity they are not free they are in captivity wako katika utumwa Mungu anaangalia namna wanaishi anaangalia hofu walio nayo anaangalia vile wanateswa anaangalia vile wana shida na anakuja na maneno haya anawaambia I know the plans I have for you says the Lord Amen plans to prosper you imagine Mungu anasema plans to prosper you na hawa watu wako katika utumwa Oi kai wapa tu ni jiguera dhanie alaoga chombo adhani God is present in heaven and he has a good reason for every season ta hujerio jo muri gai ni mwere kemera kiu ra hitukira gai ari ho na ari na gitumi kiega na ni uri ona kemera giki gya thira hallelujah praise the name of the lord amen 
Number six. In every season, there is a divine message. In every, there is, eri jamo de nyomu wa higa igoro, amefunga bingu, na higa ekele chavi muhuko. Avi enachio, mutira nyita, na amesema, ni meifunga, na hakuta kuwa na mvua, mpaka mimi mwenyewe, niseme, na ni meenda na chifunguo, ameenda, for three and a half years. Arafu, after three and a half years, amerudi. Na anasema, leo doka negeva gaire, siyo nane, gaiyake kere njaka, gaiyake kere maga, kere njaka, na gaiwama tuinyo ratoho ya ga, siyo nane. Aliyai nani ye? Ene tomo de nere otoko menya, gaiyore ya wama neoreko. Yure mungu abaya tarete mato na kutoma mavibahu, huyu diyo mungu. It was a powerful context. A powerful context. Amen. Na ni mungu gani ya direta moto? Si ni mungu wa elija. Watu wote katika inche israeli waka okoka. Hata wale ya bawa likuwa na abudu miungu ya bali waka okoka. Waka badilika. Walitoka huko wakiwa na wibompia. Walikuwa wanasema gai wa danieli nile tole goja. Gai wa danieli nile tole da. Kitu wa bawa haudajua hapo. Ni kwamba. Wakati hiyo maneno ilitedeka katika mulima kalimeli, Jezebel haku wako. <laughs> Jezebel was not present. Jezebel was not, she, you know she was a very busy lady. Jezebel was a very busy. Do you know she was the king of the witches and wizards and sorcerers? So she was so busy. So when she came in the evening, her husband, Ahab, told her, No, I'm not going to give you more than I'm going to give you a car in Mary. And I'm going to come here, and I'm going to come here, and I'm going to come here, and I'm going to come here. Na niya chokile ahoa ya abura ya ula Kai waku ni ale miru wanekole heke doge itakuwa mwaki Adoale maino kakiugaga ni ahonoku Mako inakaro obate kai wae lija niwe tureta 